I'm Katie Clancy, Chief House Hawker for the Cape House at William Ravis. And I'm Sarah Lapsley-Martin of Team Martin Lapsley with Kinlan Grover Real Estate. And this is What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you the Cape through the eyes of a couple of locals. Every week we tell you about a person, a place, and a thing that we think you should know about. So this week we talk about a yoga teacher who inspires and keeps it real, a treasured Dennis landmark, and the musical boys of summer. All right, Sarah, let's get started. Who is our person this week? So our person this week is Mary Catherine Starr. Um, she is such a sweet, kind soul. Um, she, she really is just amazing. So she's a local yoga teacher. She's an artist. She's a blogger. She's a mama of two. Um, and she's also a podcast the host. A she, lot, yeah. Yeah. Podcast, yep. um, and owner of Starstruck Design Studio. So I love her designs um, that she makes for local businesses, whether it's um, a website design or a logo. They're just, they're so beautiful and unique. And some of them are digital that she makes where other ones are like painted watercolor logos. So I'm sure if you go to her website and check them out, you'll, you'll recognize a lot of local businesses that, that do use her. Um, but you know, that's, that's great. She, she's a, a jack of all trades kind of of everything she does. And she's yep. one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. Um, Why is that? Being because she truly inspires people, but she also like keeps it real. So we're all going through all these tough times, like trying to make it work, take care of children and just stay sane in this pandemic, in this world that we're living in. And she like really lays out the truths of her struggles that she might be going through on a daily basis, whether, you know, um, her house is a mess or she's a toddler who doesn't always listen. Um, she has two kids, uh, Charlie Mae is about three and Teddy just turned one. And Charlie Mae does funny things like she won't want to take her photo. And she's like, no mama, no photos. And it's just, it's really cute. Um, but she really just, you know, she shows the things that she's dealing with in life. And I'm sure so many of us can relate to. I was know. just going to say, it makes it so relatable because you're like, you're listing her resume. I'm like, oh, what have I done with my life? You know, and you're like, she's human. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. And, it, and she's just, she has such a great way of putting like, um, you know, humor into it as well. Like you kind of have to laugh at yourself and laugh at the situation sometimes. And, you know, one of the things that she mentions is she really strives to make um, as much time as possible to enjoy the simple things in life, which we all kind of need to step back and remember that at times. Um, but I'm also wearing, I'm going to show you the shirt I'm wearing. So, you get? <gasps> so she designed these shirts. It's with all the towns from the Cape on them. And yeah. so she's selling them um, or she sold them and they were to benefit the Cape Cod Resilience Fund, which we've yes. talked about before, which is helping businesses in the community um, that are affected by the pandemic. So just another really cool thing that she's doing to give back. And um, she's amazing. So look her up on her website, but follow her on Instagram just for like some daily inspiration <laughs> and, and laughs and, you know, real life. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I have to keep it real. Yeah. All right. So that's our person. Our place this week is, so I am virtually a lifelong dentist resident. Um, and Scargo Tower is like, if you haven't been to Scargo Tower, you haven't been to Dennis, right? Okay. Like, yeah. You have to go. And it's up on a hill. You can see for miles in all directions. It's, it's a really cool thing. But recently, actually, it's been there since the 1800s. It was, it was, originally made of wood. There's a whole legend of Princess Scargo and Scargo Lake and her tears and fishes and pumpkins. And I always get it wrong. So you'll have to go check it out to see it. <laughs> Find that out on your own. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, do a little so far, yeah. Um, anyway, the first thing they put up, uh, it blew down <laughs> to the two years later. Then uh, 20 years later, it burned to the ground because it used to be made of wood. And then they rebuilt it um, in stone. Yeah. And anyway, and so recently, um, and it's, you know, from time to time, it'll get some graffiti or some vandalism. But recently, it had been vandalized pretty severely and it had to be closed. And you don't realize how important a landmark like that is. Like, well, it's just a tower. It just sits there. What, you know, nothing to do when you get there. Except, you know, climb to the top, look around, have a moment, ponder life. Like, more than ever, we, we need these places to, to ponder life, right? And so the people in the town were just really upset about it because it got closed and nobody could go there. So um, one of our selectmen took it uh, uh, as a, his pet project. Chris Lampton was like, well, what's it going to take to get it open? And he did the legwork to, to get things moving forward. It involved quite a few different, you know, like there's a lot of red tape to actually make it happen. It seems like a simple fix, but, you know, there's, it's a municipal property, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, 
historical, the whole thing. Yeah, everything. It got fixed, and you can see on Chris, Chris's Facebook page, the progress photos, mm -hmm. um, it, it's still closed to go inside, to go up the tower and up and actually on the observatory just because of COVID, but yeah. it's, you can go there now and there's not like yellow tape around. You can actually go and stand and look at the lake and the ocean. So yeah. it's, it's back. Scargo Town, great place to take a date, by the way. Yeah. I actually had friends that got engaged at the top of the tower. Absolutely. It's, I'm yeah. sure plenty of people have. I, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Beautiful spot. I miss really? it. Yeah. Um, so that's our place, Scargo Tower. So our thing this week is, is Hyannis sound. They're actually oh. people. They're human beings. <laughs> And it's an acapella group of college men from all over the country. And they've been performing on Cape Cod every summer since 1994. It's a long time. Yeah. So they perform, they have these weekly shows at uh, different churches. And, you know, that's been their thing. They've been an important part of like so many people's summer, including theirs. This is the summer job for these guys. They come and this is how they earn their money. Well, with the pandemic, They've had to completely change their model. They're doing virtual show, <clears throat> excuse me, they're doing virtual shows. They're also doing a GoFundMe because let's get real, like the arts are not, <laughs> they are really feeling it right now. But they, they do arrangements of popular songs, of old standards. And last year or two years ago, they started doing these improv things where they would take stuff from the audience, like, give me a word. And someone would be like, kitty cat. And they'd be like, kitty cat. And then like, barbecue. Q, and they would and they would sit there on the spot and yeah. make up a song that's with impressive. harmony. Yeah, yeah, and in beatbox. harmony and yeah, yeah, kitty cat, yeah. With, yeah, and beatboxing and everything. They get the whole thing. And by the time we're all like, "What's yeah. that new song?" They're like, yeah. "It's the kitty cat barbecue song." <laughs> like, there is <laughs> so random, talented. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these guys have gone on and are are still in music and just they're, they're really they're just really nice kids the amount of people who must have since you said 94 it started right yeah so hundreds. the amount of guys that have come through i mean it's, it's hundreds probably incredible number. i'm waiting yeah. i'm waiting to see like a legacy like a dad and a yeah. son i don't know if they have that yet that would be pretty yeah. cool but you know listen if yeah. you are missing the arts if you're missing live music go find them uh, go to their website highnesssound.com you can find them on instagram facebook spotify and, you know, hit their GoFundMe um, and, and they'll be back next year. I imagine we'll all, you know, get back, please, maybe to a normal summer. <laughs> and you'll get to see some live music. Again. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so there's that, you guys. That is our person, our place, and our thing for this week. If you keep following us before long, you'll know Cape Cod like we know Cape Cod. <laughs>